How's it guys? Welcome to another episode of Safari Secrets. Today we're out in the bush again, but we're not going to do a walk and so we are in fact going to prepare a beautiful meal for you guys. And Philip here is going to explain to us exactly how we're going to do that meal. Thank you. We'll be out here in the bush um, making a stew, or commonly known in South Africa as a poiki. And for a poiki you'll need a cast iron pot, you need vegetables, meat and thyme. And with thyme I don't mean the herb. We've chosen a venison uh, or an impala, which is a common antelope out in the African bush. So we'll be spending the next four to five hours um, preparing the stew and we really hope you enjoy it. Yes, and if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe or give us a thumbs up or leave a comment below. Thank you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> These are the vegetables we're going to use to prepare today's um, dinner. We have got onions, carrots, some garlic, which is always very important. The chili to spice up everything. Uh, tomato, and then uh, obviously peppers. This is the venison shank we're going to use today. This is actually the front leg of an impala. Impalas are very common antelopes here in South Africa. And as you can see, this has been dry aged. That's why it's that dark in color. Put in the meat. We're sealing the meat now to keep all the fats inside. Now we're going to put in the garlic and the onion. I'm going to fry them a bit to make them a bit tastier.
Once the onions are gold brown, you can add the other vegetables, peppers, carrots and tomatoes. What we're going to do now is we're going to add some liquids, first of all um, some red wine, you can be quite generous, we're going to pour a whole bottle of red wine in here. I know this sounds very weird, but we are actually going to pour some Coca-Cola into the stew. As you might know already, if you put a bit of meat into a glass of Coca-Cola, that meat actually dissolves and we actually we're trying to soften up the meats a bit because it's venison so the meat could be a bit tough and yeah that's why we're going to try and soften up the meats a bit and add a bit more liquid very famous here in uh, southern Africa and these trees they actually they produce small yellow fruits and these are a treat for most of the wild animals um, like elephants especially as you can see here on the tree there's some uh, barbed wire around the tree and a second thing you might have noticed is there's a, a line or circle of rocks around the tree and these rocks and the wire is there to protect the tree from elephants they really they love marulo and when the tree doesn't have fruits they start eating the bark and they start damaging the tree so that's why in order to protect this marulo tree um, we have actually created this ring of stones and we have um, circled the trunk with barbed wire. As you can see, I'm holding an Amarula bottle here, which is a cream-based liquor. And a general misconception is that this um, tree that this is made from is called the Amarula tree, which is in fact not true. That tree is specifically called the Marula tree and is the tree that is standing right behind me. As you can see on the bottle, there's an elephant uh, printed onto the logo and this is because they absolutely adore this fruit and love to eat it. I'm going to put it on some spices, we've got salt, some herbs, some pepper. Oh, 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 oh,